for you guys. I absolutely cannot wait to start camping and bring you guys with me on the journey because I am so freaking excited. I, I can't wait to use this and go pee in the freaking bushes. Right, Monty? Yes. Hi, Monty. Hi, you guys. Guess what? What just happened? We did a whole bunch of stuff and the camera wasn't on. <laughs> You guys, I was telling you guys all about what I'm going to be doing. Camping. I have all of my stuff here that I picked up for camping. I'm going to be starting to do camping videos and everything, you guys. So, oh, Monty, are you okay? Our kitty cat is sneezing, you guys. Anyways, listen, we're going to have to back up a little bit because I realized that we weren't recording, you guys, which really freaking sucks ass. But anyway, here is my big sleeping bag, and it is, what did, what did we say it was? U.S. Army. U.S. Army, cold, extreme cold. Extreme cold sleeping bags you got. Extreme cold sleeping bag you guys. So that is going to keep me super super warm Ugh. while I'm camping at night. Here I have my my actual tent. It's camouflage. I thought I had ordered like an eight by eight tent or something like that, but apparently I ordered like a six foot tent or a five foot tent or something like that. It's a round one. Anyway, we have a platform oh wait i forgot to introduce you it's okay again mm -hmm. you guys i am lisa chef wannabe welcome 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 i hope you guys are doing good today <laughs> this is hubby sean say hi hi okay so he's helping me do my videos you guys so i have a chair here matthew posa has one like this you guys wait where's the rest of it oh watch out monty watch out monty <laughs> here here is the chair so you guys when the time comes and I have to set this up, I will do that out in the wild, wild wilderness. <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> right here, I have a sleeping pad, a mattress, and it's supposed to keep me super, super warm. Uh, double, double deck design. First one is for inflating or slow release of air, and the second one is for fast. I don't know what the hell that means. Anyways, we're going to figure that out when the time comes, you guys. Okay. Okay. And then over here, I have a grate. I have two grates. Matthew Posa would say, it's a great grate. So, great grate. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyways, apparently I can cook right on it or I put the pots on it and stuff like that, you guys. So, we'll see how that goes. And then here, it's really shitty that I totally screwed up on this first video. But this is a Colina knife. This is a Colina sheath that goes with the knife, you guys. This is as sharp as shit, and I accidentally ordered two sheets to go with that. I got my son one too. He's pretty happy about it. He loves it. He uses it for everything. Okay, did I get everything? I think so. I think so. Okay. Oh, oh, your pan. My pan. Where is it? Oh, yeah. And then here is my pan. You guys, I went shopping at Stokes here in Fort McMurray. Stokes is closing down. I went in and I got a bunch of stuff and I picked up some some uh, glasses for my son. I picked up some mugs for my son and some other stuff. And then I picked up this here for myself. But you guys, look what happened. Do you see? Uh, look how special that pan is. <laughs> so this is an awesome, awesome uh, rock pan, non-stick, which is what I really wanted. But I actually wanted it for the house, but now because it is dented, I think I'm gonna be using it for camping. So that's fine. And I don't mind one single bit because it's basically just gonna be me camping. So I don't need a big little, big frying pan anyway. This is good enough. Anyway, good enough. What else? Do you want oh to order this stuff at once or just grab it? I want to do this. Okay, so right here, we'll go with the um, utensils or what yep. do you call it? Utensils. utensils? Okay, so I got a little spatula. Wait. That's not a spatula. Yes, yes, it is. Is it? I thought that was a spatula. Nope, that's a lifter. A lifter? Yes. Spatula? Mm-hmm. Spatula? Uh-huh. What's this? It's a brush. Brush? Barbecue brush? What's this? Another lifter. Lifter. See? I don't know. Anyways, you guys. So Matthew Poza always uses one like this, but it's a metal one. They my... call it a turner. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So my favorite utensil whenever I do anything is this little guy here. I call it a spatula. So I'll probably end up using this one here the most for everything. For mixing, for like scraping, for everything. Anyway, I'm probably going to bring all of them when I go camping. What else? What have we got? Oh, yeah. Okay. So here 
I actually have a thingy thingy of hot chocolate, you guys, because not all the time you want tea, so I'll be having some hot chocolate. This is uh, cacao tablets. Cacao, I don't, I'm not really fond of. It's kind of like not sweet enough. It's kind of like straight up chocolate without sugar. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's see what happens. Oh, so this, wait, well, and this, this is a little striker to strike the huh? fire. One of my friends, a sweetie, 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 his name is Eddie from work. He gave me that and he gave me this here, which is a fire starter. So together, two of these guys here will start a fire for me. God love him, he's so sweet. Yes, and hopefully he's gonna drop by one of these videos, he's gonna drop by. Okay, and then this here, I'm gonna open it right now. This here is a... Tactical spork. <laughs> a tactical spork. <laughs> Look it, do you guys see it? Yes, so it's a uh, fork and a spoon, and then you open it up. There's a knife, you guys. Look at that. There's a friggin' knife. Holy balls. I'm gonna put that in there before I hurt myself. But anyway, isn't that great? And it's got like such a good grip on it too. It's friggin' awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The Canadian Cowboy Cookbook from the ranch to the backyard. You guys, I got a lot of recipes in here. A lot of recipes I'm going to be trying out for you guys. I cannot wait. Not to mention that I do have a lot of things in here that I want to cook. Oh, here is a simple knife. Also from Stokes, you guys. And a cutting board and stuff like that. So that's going to work out just perfectly. Although I did pick up some more. I think I picked up some of cutting boards that were flexible. I also got a wooden one and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know which, which one I'm going to bring. Oh. Is that ceramic? No. This is iron. Cast mm. iron. This is a pan. Cast iron pan. She also, from, light. yeah, I know, right? Also from Stokes, you guys. Also from Stokes. Yeah, and I can cook like steak on this, and hamburger, and pork chops, and all kinds of shit. Anyways, I really love the shape of this because you can like cook stuff and you can slide it right off. You can eat right on it because it's so nice and like not not really high sides and stuff, so it's perfect. What else we got? Holy balls! We got a lot of shit. Oh, a tarp. Oh, it doesn't have a good picture on here. But anyway, you guys, this is a huge tarp. So, my eye. <laughs> so this is a big tarp. What size is it? Damn it, it doesn't say. But anyway, it's I huge. yeah, I did order this. I think it's it's like a ten foot tarp or something like that. So I could actually put it right over the tent if I wanted to, or if I want to and don't want to use the tent at all, I could actually just use a tarp depending on the weather, you guys. Yeah, and I have to, if I use the tarp, then I have to like go straight across and then down along the back to prevent the wind and stuff from going through and freezing me to death during the night. What is this one? <gasps> a hatchet! A camper's hatchet! Oh my god, I can't wait to use that. I absolutely cannot wait. It says watch fire. What is this? Oops. It says watch fire camper's hatchet. Okay. But isn't that cute though? Look at it. Oh my god, I gotta open it. Oh, and it has a little sheath too. Oh my god, that's so cute. Look, that's so me. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. We gotta go chop wood. Okay, next. Dutch oven lid stand. Dutch. Oh, a Dutch. Oh, I know what this is. Oh my god, I can't open it. Wait, I'll use my knife. This is actually for when I do a stew or whatever, out at the uh, while I'm camping. Um, this one here is actually for uh, uh, for a Dutch oven lid. Uh, so I can like put it to the side and then I can put my grab my Dutch oven lid and put my Dutch oven lid on it. I can also, also use it as uh, put it right on the fire and sit my Dutch oven right on top of it either way, like this, or just put my lid on it. Okay. What else? No clue with that. What is this? It is, I'm going to put my glasses on. I can't see shit. Hammock, underquilt, lightweight, camping, winter sleeping hammock, underquilt, blanket, ultralight, underquilt, keep your warmer. Save space, portable, black and orange, made in China. There's a surprise. So you guys, what happened was, I was thinking if I was going to go out and camp, not all the time am I going to be in a camp, wait, in a tent, 
or in a tarp. Maybe I'm just, it's so beautiful outside you guys. I'm not even worried about the elements and stuff like that. I'm just going to go in a hammock and I do have a hammock you guys. You guys are going to see that actually. But this here is an underquilt. What happens is the underquilt goes directly underneath the hammock and it has this thick, warm, kind of like a, a down filled material in it. I'm not going to open it up right now because it'll just go poof. Kind of like, you know, that R52? R22. R22 insulation stuff. So if I if I undid all the straps right now, it, it would go poof like that. So I'm just going to leave it as it is until one of these days you guys want to see when I set up my hammock. And then I'll use it. And you guys will see. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. So if I have company, you guys, to come over for tea or coffee, I have two mugs. Yes, so I will always have one on board. And then somebody else drops by and I will let them use it. Here, I have a whole bunch of wooden chopsticks. Why? Why do you ask? Oh my God, Lisa, are you going to be using, like, having Asian food the whole time you're, like, camping? No, you guys. These I got from all kinds of, like, takeout places and stuff like that. So I am going to be using these here as kindling for my fire. So don't even worry. Don't even stress, you guys. Oh, okay. So one of my friends, actually, I think it was, was it Peter? I think it was Peter. So earlier I talked about Eddie. Eddie gave me the fire starter. His brother Peter gave me the idea to get a camp oven. You guys, he said what he used to do was he would put his camp oven on top of the stove inside of the tent and let it cook all day while they were out hunting. And when they came back home or back to the camp, they would have like fresh friggin' hot wings and like a stew or like something roasted or something like that. Anyways, inside of the oven. So he said, Lisa, you gotta go get an oven. So I went and ordered an oven. So I can't wait to use that. Thank you, Peter, so much for the idea. <laughs> oh, oops, and that's from Coleman's. Here I have a set of warmers for my feet because my tootsies get so friggin' cold. Here I have a neck warmer because my body gets so friggin' cold. Monty, hi. Do you guys see the cat? He's right there. Okay, so I ordered some clothes, you guys. This here is a is a like sweater right here. I think it's extra large. No, nope, that one's a large. This one here is large. Large. So I have two of these, you guys, because Matthew Poza says dress in layers, you guys. That way, you can just take stuff off if you're too warm. So that's what I'm going to do. What else we got? Okay. Here we have a dry sack. So anything that I don't want to get wet. For example, um, vitamin C, uh, sugar. All your dry goods. Tea. <laughs> All my dry stuff. I have a wet sack. A wet sack prevents a dry sack, you guys. No way. A wet sack causes a dry sack. <laughs> This here, some uh, snowboard pants, you guys. These, actually, I did not just order. I had these last year. And they're size, they're size large. They have inside, they have that awesome silver lining, you guys, to keep you nice and toasty warm. So I am going to be super, super warm. I cannot wait. And they fit perfectly. Here is, oh my God. Sean, can you hold that up? Can you hold it up with the boot? Turn it around. You guys, I just picked this up. I think I picked this up from, what's that place in the mall? Sports. Sport Check. Sport Check. I just picked this up. There was a huge sale just recently. What was it? What was that big sale all about? Do you remember? Selling stuff. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So the original price was $199.99. You guys, I got it for like $60 or something like that. But anyway, this is going to be freaking awesome. I don't know what There's this a is. Black plastic bag. It's a black, black. Food's here. Oh, shit. Okay, you go get the food. I'll see you. I'll keep going. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, my love. I don't have a whole lot left. Thank you for your help. No problem. Okay. So here I ordered some, would you guys believe, purple pants? Purple, purple pants. Look at you guys. And they actually fit. These, you guys, they came from China. And so anytime, anytime I ever order anything from China, you guys, I order extra large because Chinese people are so, so tiny and us in North America are not so tiny. So every time I got so used to like ordering things and I'm like, why is nothing ever fitting? So I started ordering everything extra large. So these here actually fit and they're supposed to be waterproof and rip proof and the knees are padded and all kinds of shit. Anyways, I can't wait to wear those. 
and they're purple, my husband's favorite color. And then over here, what else do I have? Oh my God, free soldier, what is this? You guys, I ordered so much shit. Tarp, shelter, rain tarp. Oh, so I have another tarp. <gasps> okay, well I won't pull it all the way out because it's inside of this bag. Oh shit, I guess I did. Anyways, this is what it is. I gotta figure out what size it is. I gotta put it back in. It doesn't say what size it is, does it? No. Oh, it says it's a hammock. You guys, is this a hammock? Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. Okay, you guys, oh, holy balls. Okay, I'll put it back in and then finish up. I have a couple more things for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, um, here, what is this? Ugh. Oh, this is a table. Oh my God, okay. So it's a folding table, bamboo folding table, bamboo tabletop, lightweight. Ugh telescoping aluminum legs folds down for easy storage storage bag so this is basically a table you guys so it's heavy <laughs> for when I do like any kind of cooking and eating and stuff like that you guys I'll be able to set up a table do you see it I hope you see it it says um let's see uh six wait what 45.7 by 64.7 centimeters so I don't know probably like what this big that's a pretty good size, hey? Okay, we're almost done, you guys, this here. Oh, before before I do all that stuff, you guys, anybody know what this is? This is a sheepie. Do you guys know what a sheepie is? A sheepie is so the girls can go pee, so she can pee. You guys, I know it's purple, right? What the hell's with all the purple? Jesus. Anyway, girls, undo your fly, stick this in there, and you can pee. So, I don't know if you guys will ever see me use it, but when the time comes, I'm going to be using this. I have not used it yet. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just put that in there for now. Okay, and uh, here is a pad. This pad here is really, really soft. You guys, it's got that memory foam, and I'm probably gonna end up needing it for when I go to sleep because I, the one thing I really need when I sleep, you guys, is a nice soft pillow. I don't like having a pillow that's really, really thick because it makes me like feel like my neck is like bent upward. So this one here will let my neck just fall and relax. So here, <clears throat> the last thing that I have, uh, I do a coat. It's a coat. I don't even think this is a camping thing. It's not. Look, this is friggin', this is something totally not to do with camping. <laughs> I just gonna put that over there. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I absolutely cannot wait to start camping and bring you guys with me on the journey because I am so freaking excited. I, I can't wait to use this and go pee in the friggin' bushes and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, wait. Did you guys see this? Wait, where's my hand? There, this here. Okay, hold on, hold on. This huge box right here, you guys, has the stove for inside of my tent. This is a, what do they call it? They call it a, a hot tent. So when you have a hot tent, the hot tent actually has a hole for a stove that you can put the wood and everything in, and then there's a pipe that goes to the outside, and there's a hole in the tent, and the, the like smoke and all that shit goes outside. And then there's a little, uh, what is it called? Like a little vent, vent thing? What is that called? I don't know, a little vent thing anyways that controls how much heat goes outside and how much heat stays in the tent. So anyway, I'll be able to use all that. You guys, I can't wait, oh my God. Anyways, thank you guys so very much. This is Chef Wannabe saying thank you guys and take care. I will see you soon. Bye guys. Woo.